I've been with Oak Ridge Fabrication for uh, about eight and a half years. It's just your typical American job shop. Anything from 200 piece to one piece orders, uh, tooling work, production work, um, all sorts of fields, anything and everything we do. To be honest, there's, there's some customers that we were doing business with that we kind of shied away from because all our guys are higher end, you know, they're paid as such, and so it's a challenge to really make it work when you're paying those guys to just stand there, load parts, and push a button. A job like this sitting on the table is three days of me hand loading parts, and but this will run, you know, for basically three days of work in a night. I remember one conversation I had with one of the companies, and I said, we're gonna add some new equipment, it's a little bit faster and short cycle times that way, but also to add some automation. I kinda got a, like, eh, yeah, well, we've been down that road before, and you know, and then they actually said, you know, we got three of them things sitting over here, and they're sitting in the corner. And I asked them what name brands they were, and I don't recall what they were, but it wasn't specific to any type of machine, and then you're responsible for the interface and all that, and uh, I could just tell by the reaction that it was like, man, eh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out the way you thought it was gonna work out. Through those conversations, I'm like, you know, the last thing we can have happen is we bring one in here, we have a bad experience with it. If there's a cobot out there that's made to interface with our equipment, and everything's there, and we can roll it up there, and we can hook it up, and then we can run it, our first purchase has to be something like that. Yes, it was a little bit more money, but we went with the Pro Crowbots and brought that in here. And I mean, what a mistake it would have been to do anything else. I mean, they brought the thing in here and uh, you know, within like a day, I mean, literally a day, it's hooked up, it's running. Our guys are able to start, restart it. Um, within two days, they're changing programs. Training with the robot was a little bit intimidating right away getting it because it's just it's a new piece of equipment. I mean right away we were looking at a half hour, 20 minutes of added setup time and we're under five minutes now. Uh, to utilize the robot at any job, you don't even have to factor the time in. It's just as simple as hitting go. You know, and the interface is so is so nice. You know, it's up on the screen and you can see everything, what's going on. And uh, with all that, I think we would have failed. I think we would have had them sitting in the corner like everybody else. If you walk out in the shop right now, you'd think we've been running those robots for a year or two. It's literally been about probably 15 days, maybe 20 days since we got our first one. And there's three of them out there running right now all day and all night.